Okay, this is the first of two examples showing you how to do long division of a polynomial. This is section 4.3. So let's start with this, um, this uh, polynomial right here, x to the fourth plus 3x third minus 4x plus 1, all divided by x plus 2. So this is going to be a similar uh, a similar thing to back in fourth grade when you did long division of numbers. It's a similar kind of thing. So we're going to first start by writing the polynomial x to the fourth plus 3x cubed. Oh look, I'm missing an x squared. So we're going to have to write in a 0x squared minus 4x plus 1. And I want to divide this by x plus 2. Okay, so now we're all set up, ready to go. All right, so you can say to yourself, there's something up here. You can do this two different ways. Something up here times x gives me x to the fourth. Or you could say x to the fourth divided by x is x to the third. So you can do it either way, x to the third. So I have x to the third up there. And now I say x to the third times x is x to the fourth, and I write it right there. x to the third times 2, well, that's going to be plus 2x to the third. Parentheses around that, and then subtract, I want to subtract that, and draw a line underneath. Okay, x to the fourth minus x to the fourth, so those have canceled out. 3x cubed minus 2x cubed is 1x cubed. I don't need to write the 1, but you could write the 1 if you want. And then you want to bring down your next term, so plus 0 x squared, and then we start again. So there's something up here in this blank. Times x gives me x cubed. Or you could say x cubed divided by x, and so that's going to be a plus x squared. Okay, x squared times x is x cubed. I write it right there. x squared times 2 is plus 2x squared, and I write it right there. Parentheses around it, and I'm going to subtract and draw the bar underneath. Okay, x cubed minus x cubed, those are gone. 0x squared minus 2x squared, well that's going to be a negative 2x squared. Now I bring down the next term minus 4x, and I start again. Something up here times x gives me negative 2x squared. So that's going to be minus 2x. So let's multiply it out. Negative 2x times x is negative 2x squared negative 2x times 2 is going to be negative 4x, parentheses around that, and then a subtraction sign in the front, and now I subtract. Negative 2x squared minus a negative, that's the same as adding, 2x squared, so those have disappeared. Minus 4x, minus a negative 4x, that's the same as adding 4x. Now I've got 0x. Don't stop because you still have this 1 up here, okay? So bring the 1 down, okay? And just to finish this out, just to show you how this works, um, there's something up here times x gives me 0x. Well, this is kind of redundant, but it's very helpful to some students to write a plus 0, okay? So let's go ahead and do that multiplication. 0 times x is 0x. Zero, 0 times 2 is 
0, subtract that, 0x minus 0x, those have disappeared, 1 minus 0 is 1. So my remainder, let's talk about the remainder first, is 1. So I can express this division problem like this. I'm going to move it down here. Okay. So this polynomial divided by that polynomial. So the result is x cubed plus x squared minus 2x, you don't need to write the 0, plus 1, because that's my remainder, over x plus 2, because that's my divisor. Or you can express it like this, x cubed plus x squared minus 2x, remainder 1. Either way is acceptable.